Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna have a short video showing how to do a fuel pump upgrade in preparation for our V8 swap. Go over to the car here. This is for the ND 2016 and up generation. And it'll show you step-by-step step how to get to this fuel basket assembly behind the driver's seat. Come around to the driver's seat and you'll move it to the furthest forward position. Then you're gonna start removing these clips here with just a pick or a screwdriver. These guys come off fairly easily. Once all the clips are removed, you wanna get the seat belt out of the way, get your hand under the edge of the door sill and pull directly up. It'll unclip easily and just leave it loose. Do the same with the interior panel here, and then it slides out of the way. It's completely disconnected now, so it can be set in the front seat. This top piece can stay in place for now. You'll see more clips under the underside, which we'll be removing next. After these trim pieces are removed, their clips are a little more difficult. We'll take this one, there's one clip here that separates it from the rest, and we'll keep working our way around separating the other clips to free the top next. At this point, the entire top should be unclipped, and you can focus on working the bottom out by holding the center console out of the way. Once the carpet's unclipped, you can see it will lift in front, and it has styrofoam insulation on bottom. You want to slide your hand all the way to the back and lift up and then it will unclick and you'll be able to see the entire fuel pump cover lid with several Phillips screws. Once you've removed the three Phillips screws that hold the cover down, you're able to slide it past this wire harness and set it in the base of the car. You now have access to the fuel pump lid and fuel pump basket assembly. The way to remove those Phillips head screws in a tight area, an impact gun and a right angle adapter make quick work. Once you can see the fuel pump assembly on the top of the tank, you want to remove the electrical harness first you'll have to push hard to release the tab and then lift up. The green clip slides up and then once it's undone, the hose will come out. And now you have an open fuel basket. I would leave this on until you remove the bolts surrounding. Once you remove the eight Phillips head screws that hold this in, you'll be able to remove this metal trim ring holding the fuel basket in place. The screws that hold this in will not be reused. Before removing the fuel basket, take masking tape and a trash bag and mask off the area and allow a place for dripping fuel to be caught. All right, once you have your fuel pump basket back in place with the upgraded assembly, you're gonna to wanna to not reuse the Phillips head screws that are in there. I recommend upgrading to these stainless metric cap head screws with an Allen head. These are M4-0.7 thread and they're half inch long. I'll leave a link in the description to the Amazon listing. Assembly is the reverse of disassembly. All the interior pieces can be reclipped and re-screwed by following the steps in the video backwards.